It is the mystical unicorn type that debuted in Metarot 2, ma finally making a comeback. It is UNI-01 Victory Horn, with a kit of triple stat cleanse, multi-legs, and the leg ability of Mirage, which grants conceal effect to self when charging Metaphorce. Now honestly, I've said it before, I will say it again, and I will say it a thousand times more. Stat Cleanse is an open welcome addition to any team build, especially because in competitive meta, making use of ailments such as Peril, uh, Freeze, Shock, or even Tornado if paired with Anti-Air can very quickly make or break any particular fight, especially if you nuke the, uh, kill the nuker relatively quickly, or maybe cut a strategy short by preventing them from even taking the chance to prep for that said nuke. So as being said, stat cleanse, stat cleanse is simply a so will simply remove any negative ailments applied to self or any allies, and allow them to be immune to a certain amount of to ailments a certain number of hits relative to part rank. So in this case, um, if the parts are fully capped at five star, that basically gives each ally, each himself and each ally on the field up to five free hits before ailments can officially be applied again. Um, the only weakness primarily to stat cleanse is the fact that anyone with effect clear can effect, can very quickly remove it and negate it from being useful, meaning that they can be inflicted with it again um, if stat cleanse is not quickly reapplied. However, with multi legs of about eight th with, with a speed of about 832, that's honestly still very good for multi legs. So I'd say higher tier to most points. Um, unfortunately, with the, with some lower stats, 973, 989 for the shoot and melee resist. Not too bad, but honestly could be better. Uh, with an evade, however, of 849, he is going to kind of be relying on that Mirage ability with the Conceal effect in order to keep help, in order to help help keep his damage low. And unfortunately, in the armor department, he is also just a little squishy as well. About 3100 HP for the head, about 2900 per arm, and about 3900 for his legs. So he's not necessarily bad across the field. But unfortunately, he also does fall subject to the redundancy argument, meaning you don't need to have three different parts use stat cleanse, you only need to use it once and have one part of it in order for it to be actually viable. So for this reason, I would honestly rate Legend Ho uh, Victory Horn a solid 4 out of 10 for as a pure set score, because, uh, you know, again, the lack of combat capability and the redundancy of having triple stat cleanse. However, if you were to use him as mixed parts instead, his rating over my personal grading on him goes up, goes up significantly to 7.5 out of 10. For and as reasons for stated, stat cleanse is always an open and welcome addition to any team, competitive or casual, so you have that coverage against anyone using ailments. And with multi legs like his that can support up to two heavy parts with some fantastic mobility and a pretty solid leg ability no less to help keep damage down, you really can't go wrong with using Victory Horn's parts in a, in a competitive build. Now I will make a note to mention as well with Victory Horn that he is being added to the PvP gacha pool, meaning in order to, to go after his parts, you will need to participate in weekly PvP. As he, that is the only place where you can get him, he will not be available in any other banners, limited, collaboration, spotlight, or otherwise. So if you want to have a chance at Victory Horn, you will need to participate. You only need to participate in five matches. Does not matter if you win or lose, you just need to do five matches. But of course, if you want a higher chance at getting Victory Horn, um, high, uh, scoring higher in the rankings will definitely uh, behoove you and benefit you.